Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Whoop and welcome back to Minecraft Stone Block. When we last left off, we got the ultimate room up. We have uh, got a bunch of stuff going on. We prettied up this area down here. Got a lot of stuff done. Uh, I log in today and I'm finding that this, uh, this machine here, this range collector gets jump uh you know jumbled up gets you know backed up and stuff back stuffed whatever you want to call it uh i did off camera make some <clears throat> speed upgrades but they just do not seem to be able to keep up with it um uh, i also put this experience obelisk and everything there as well so today what i want to do is i want to take this and i'm going to grab my get a wrench and i'm going to just poof all these into existence grab all these items and what i'm going to do is i'm going to extend this all the way up to the range collector because i do have stack upgrades i do have speed upgrades and apparently uh ender io is good for when you're doing small work but when you've got item after item after item and stack upon stack and things that don't stack that goes in there this thing gets full quick pretty quickly. It, it's just, it does not pick up items fast enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my cables that I have, and I'm just going to extend this all the way up here. And I'm going to have the, the importer directly on it. Put our stack upgrade in there and do it like that. We should be able to turn it off. But yeah, I logged in today in my game. I just could not do anything. It was just so horrible. Uh, my game was lagging so bad. And I was like, what in the world's going on? Oh my goodness. What? Ah! So I come over here in my inventory uh, because of my magnet that I have on here. The uh, flexo magnet, uh, which is actually dead now because of all the items. Um, but I just, my inventory just got slammed packed full of all the items over there. So, uh, yeah. So now that we've got that fixed, we should be okay. Uh, today, what we're going to work on, though, is we're going to work on trying to get uh, a wireless system running up for our, our, our power. As you know, we have cables running throughout our base. I even, you know, designed the base in order to cooperate with that type of design. But today, I want to go ahead and, and do... I want to get into the Flux Network. And... Um, see what is it that I'm looking for flux cover no what is it that I'm looking for it's flux plugs flux points and then the flux controller with the basic flux storage and it doesn't look that bad I mean just flux blocks which flux blocks is just uh, flux cores with some flux and flux is just burnt redstone basically so I'm going to teach our system how to do that today uh, so that way our cabling is not so extensive um, and we can actually save on a lot of cabling that way. So that this would be like the precursor. So if we decide we want to upgrade our, our generator room or upgrade, you know, our, our power network, it would be really, really quickly, uh, flux points and everything is wireless to as far as I know it's wireless. And if I'm not mistaken, it also has like a wireless mode. So let's start off today by teaching the system how to make flux. Um... So we're just going to take some redstone. We've got 1.5k. That's not too shabby. It could use a little bit more of that. Is there a way to actually make more redstone? Um, actually, I pushed the wrong button. Uh, R. Yeah, is there a way to make more redstone? We can do redstone ore, which we're not getting actually ore income. We can make redstone chickens. Ooh, that might be a thing we work on next uh, next episode. Uh, we're getting that uh, from dust, which is 20%. So we're not getting too much. But I do want to uh, eventually get over into the chicken with the roost. Get some redstone chickens, which is from a red chicken and a sand chicken. Uh, and we need to get ourselves a, uh, what is this, a chicken catcher. Uh, we need an egg, a stick, and a feather. But we'll work on that. Um, hopefully we have enough to just get basically started with the flux network today. And then we'll we'll make a room for our chickens and uh, go on for there. All right. So first thing we want to do is I want to teach this system. Ooh, that is really noisy. Let's make a muffler. 
a noise muffler. Yeah, this. So we need a note block. And we need some wool. Yeah, that's easy peasy, beautiful bug. Anyway, that should help it out a little bit. That's really... I mean, it, it, it is right next to us. I could move it down one, one room, but eh, it's okay. So are you working okay now? You seem to be picking up... I'm still getting a lot of even uh, a lot of stuff in my inventory. This is crazy. This thing doesn't pick up fast enough. I may need to look into another uh, another form of uh, item collector. Ooh, that that's that's just rough. It doesn't it doesn't seem to want to pick it up properly. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll get it. Uh, I think I accidentally put my Yetta wrench in the system. Yeah, I did. All right, so let's put this back in our bag along with our cables. Like that. Okay. So, back to this. Flux. So, give us some redstone, please. So, one redstone should equal... I can just throw it in here. One redstone should equal the flux. Yes. Owned by... What is this? Obtained by throwing redstone in fire or lava. We, we just got it from a furnace. So, there we go. And I should be able to throw it in our ultimate furnace down here. Uh, I may even hook it up, may even need to hook up or a, 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 a get another ultimate furnace if we can, but that was, that was an easy find. We may need to swap in and out of this or, or put my furnace in another area so that way we can put, maybe put it to where we could put a chest and then have multiple crafters connected to it. That might actually work. We'll have to find a room for it. Maybe put it over there. Or dig in behind this wall here and put uh, put that back there so that way we can keep it running. Because uh, that's about the fastest thing I know uh, to do. So, if we asked for some flux, please sir, can we have 64? Shouldn't be uh, a hard task to make. Yep, it's going full bore. Uh, another thing that we need to teach the system is flux cores. These little things, which is just uh, obsidian. Some Eyes of Ender. I'll have to teach the system how to make these. Let's put this there. All right. Teach the system how to make Eyes of Ender. And then we should be able to teach the system how to do this. We'll throw that in there. Another thing that I want to work on, uh, maybe in the next few episodes, is upgrading our, um, our system with um, something called Reborn Storage. Uh, we can grab the crafting frame... The heat conductors, uh, crafting CPUs, crafting storage, uh, and things of that nature, and make a uh, a really large, basically a really large crafter, uh, and then we can just throw stacks upon stacks upon pages upon pages of uh, recipes in there, kind of like what these crafters are doing. So we're not limited just just one row per crafter. We we have pages upon pages, and the more I think it's the more crafting CPUs and the more storage units you get put in there. Uh, you get, like, the more crafting CPUs, the faster the crafting is. The more storage, uh, crafting storage, the more you can put in there. And I think the biggest size, if I was doing my research correct, the biggest size you can get for that is a 16 by 16. So we might actually do that. Uh, but for now, for now, we just want to get uh, the Flux network up, up and running. So Flux controller will be the next thing that we want to get. And we will need to teach this how to make flux blocks, which shouldn't be too difficult. Flux blocks. And then I want to teach it how to make the system. Uh, I only need, maybe even need one controller, so we may be able to pull that recipe out and uh, use it for something else if we need to. So system, can I have a flux controller, please? It looks like it will be able to be crafted. Shouldn't be issue. Uh, how long is it going to take to craft? You're crafting the eyes of Ender. Crafting all the blocks. There we go. So controller. Oops. If Dragon Whelp can spell. There we go. We got our flux controller. So now, the two other things that we need. We need to teach the system how to make flux plugs. Which are these little guys here. Whoops. Wrong thing. Let's clean that out. Uh, flux plugs. And flux points. 
Uh, flux plugs uh, put power into the system. And I think uh, flux points remove it from the system. So that's that shouldn't be too difficult. We've uh, and then I can also teach the system how to make uh, redstone blocks if I don't already know how. So we'll grab that. Yeah, we don't know how to do any of that. So now that we've got this system up, we need only one other thing to do is to teach it how to make. Uh, just do at flux. And uh, we need to teach it how to make the basic storage. I want to go try, if I can, if I have enough resources today, I want to try to go for a gargantuan because it stores one, uh, 128 million RF uh, in the whole thing. So that doesn't look too difficult. And then this one is just flux storages. And then this one is just the Herculean. So yeah, that should be within our reach. I think we have enough redstone. I hope we have enough. We've got 1.4K. So let's just go, let's just teach it and let's see how far we can get. So if we teach it how to make that, then we teach it how to make that and also teach it how to make that. And then I need to teach it how to make glass panes because I doubt it knows how. So there we go. We may even need another crafter. We shall see. Yeah, we're going to need another crafter. So please, sir, can I have another crafter, please? shouldn't be too difficult i did teach the system how to make all the stuff uh for the prerequisites so we don't have to manually do that ourselves so ooh, i got a got the reward thing for a crafter thought we already did that there we go uh wither skull oh yeah speaking of uh i got this uh last episode or in between episodes uh uh when we were fighting the nether uh, the skeletons of uh, the wither skeletons so i can claim that loot chest and See what kind of reward we get. Oh, overclockers. Nice. Nice. We can do that. So what else is right here? Uh, going to the end or nether star. So we're working up to this. But I do want to try to up our power with solar if possible. So I want to try to... That's that's one reason why we're working on this, uh, this uh, flux network. Because it would be wireless power. Uh, but we do need to, to complete this. But we'll work on that another day and we're then the the starting the start of stone block is almost complete i'll just have to go down this row over here it should be fun uh okay so what we'll need to do is we'll need to throw this crafter i'm gonna throw it just right there that way we have a little bit extra little bit extra room for these these uh patterns so i can just throw them all in there and then uh so can i have let's see flux Let's do at flux because it'll know what I'm talking about. Can I get you to make one? I only need one. I'm missing six of those. What was it missing? Six of the Herculean? But you know how to make the Herculean. Mm. Can we make one Herculean? We're missing six basic. But system, you know how to make those. Okay, so in order to get the Herculean, we may have to do this manually. So we need six, six basics to make the Herculean, and that's 12.8 million. And then we're going to need six of these. I'm just, I'm just surprised that the system just doesn't recognize the fact that we taught it how to make it. Hmm. So if I do my math correctly, which I probably need to use a calculator for this, so we're technically going to need six times, because the Gargantuan is six of the Herculean, and then we're going to need six times six, is I think that's what it is. So that's, uh, oh, that should be math I can do in my head. Uh, 36 basics, if, that, if my calculations are correct. So can we make 36 basics, please? We're missing 465 redstone. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we just start with, uh, yeah, let's just start with a basic just to get us going. That way we're, we're not, I mean, we can always upgrade it later. Uh, I think we can upgrade it later. I'm hoping we can upgrade it later. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just go, let's go for broke. And let's make my five more. It should be able to make that. So that way we can at least get a Herculean one 
which does hold 12.8 because the basic only holds 200, 256,000, which is, eh, it's okay. But uh, I mean, we have the resources to go up to the Herculean. I want the Gargantuan though, but uh, beggars can't be choosers in this situation. So we're going to try our best to, to get this, but I'm just surprised it doesn't, it just, I'm just surprised it doesn't, t I, I, hmm. There's something wrong with that. Uh, Herculean and Gargantuan. Let's take those out. Let's put these back in here. So it knows how to make the basics. And let's put that back in. Put that one down there, yeah. Do that. Put you back in there. Yeah. So if I just said, hey, at flux... You make me one of these, please. It still says we're missing that. That is really, really weird. So if I did this, would that work? Oh my, okay. Uh, how much redstone do we have left? We've got 1.1K. We've got 61 blocks though. I wonder what would happen if I did this. Would we have enough for our gargantuan at that point? We got 1.7. Okay, so we technically can make a Herculean now. We should be able just to pull this straight out of the system. Uh, cancel that. So, at flux, Herculean. That is really weird. Okay, so I'll just do this and this. There we go. So we've made six, so we just need... Well, we can't do that one anymore. So that that is a dud recipe. So let's just grab that out there. Let's clean these off. I think what you do is just shift, right-click. Yep, you shift, right-click it. It cleans it off, and I'll just throw those back in there. So... Can you, sir, please make 30 more of these? We have the redstone. It's what I want, but so let's go ahead and do it. So this will probably take a little while. So give me just a minute while this cooks up and does its thing, and we will be right back. All right, here we are with the last one. And what I'm going to do is just put all these Herculeans in here, and we should get our Gargantuan. Yes. Okay, so we throw all this back in there. It took a little while. Not too long, not too long. It did take a little while. Uh, so we do want at least one flux point. Hopefully we have the redstone for that. And we want to have uh, one flux plug uh, for adding energy into the system. For now, for now. We'll expand that as we get more redstone because, yeah, I put a little dent <laughs> we went from 1.7k to 80 redstone. So yeah, we put a little, <clears throat> just a little dent in our redstone, um, redstone thing. So yeah, we grab the flux point and the flux, whoops, and the flux plug. And we'll go downstairs into our little room here. And it doesn't need to, I don't think it needs to be anything particular, uh, spectacular. I do want to make sure that it is connected to the network some way, somehow. Um, I may just throw it. Uh, no, the controller can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be connected anywhere. But So I'll just throw this bad boy there. And uh, name. We could say flux name dragon network. All right. Whoops. Uh, network selection, create new network, click new network, uh, above, uh, where's that? Edit network, click, uh, network selection above, create new network. There we go. And we just say dragons network. Yeah. Dragons network. Uh, and then I'll just have it, you know, blue. There we go, and then we'll make another one for, uh, we'll just make one called Power Generation. 
So that way we have two separate networks. So that way they're not struggling uh, any way, shape, form, or fashion. And we'll make this one a yellow color. That looks good. So now that we've got that uh, transfer limit, I'll say to enable because we don't want there in to be any limit of power being transferred anywhere. Uh, wireless charging. Ooh, transfer settings have been removed. There will be different settings soon. Connections will all not always be sorted by largest priority. So hopefully that's charging our our stuff. Uh, wireless charging. I don't know. That's that's kind of cool if if it does. So what we. Uh, what we want to do now is I want to put this this network there and it should be filling up hopefully maybe uh, please select the network uh, power generation there we go so are you filling up maybe not uh, can we move this move it up there yeah, power generation. Uh, maybe need to put it on uh, Dragon's network. And then use the Flux Point, which adding energy to the Flux network. We could throw that bad boy there and put that on generation. Is that working? Yes? No? Network connections uh priority hmm maybe not maybe not maybe we should stick it to all one network for right now uh so let's do this to dragon's network how about that there we go there we go for now i, I will have a generations thing eventually that should be filling up with energy as it, as it shows right there. It should be filling up with energy. And now what I could do is I could go anywhere in this base and I could chop these wires up uh, so that way they're not all on the same network. Um, what I could do, instead of being there, can I have that please? Thank you. I'll put it on here. Uh, what would be the best place to put that let's dig into the wall here uh that's connected there you connected over here no you're not so we'll put this hmm i need more sides to this maybe i should leave that open yeah that might be a good idea move these torches and then i could put that there and then have Transfer that so that should be filling up our network Should be So we're inputting for a uh, 4.0 thousand RF a tick it should be draining this battery quite yeah It's it's draining it quite well So now technically if I wanted to I could disconnect this this ME system over here and say hey, man you should have access to this network and you should be able to get energy anytime that you want so that way if we ever run out of energy we've got a backup and this is slowly filling up and yes it's going to take a while to fill up that 1.28 but at least we will have we'll have like massive amounts of storage so that's that's awesome i like that yes it's doubled it's doubled up but you know, redundancy is always well is always good. So maybe I can uh, do this like that. That shouldn't be too bad, right? Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we. I can live with that. I can live with that. So now, what I want to do is I want to start working on getting a area for chickens uh, because we're going to need them. I'm going to need the resources. So I think what I'll do is I will make the room that we had over here. Ooh, we got another uh, creeper thing. And this this thing still is getting backed up. I I have to figure something out with this. This is this is not going to work. This is not going to work. And want to move this inside here. Turn this off. 
Uh, where did it go? Did it go get sucked into here? Probably. Like, I, I'm just... You see how as many items as being dropped on the ground? This is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. We're gonna have to fix that. Uh, I'll have to do some research off camera, but... I'll have to figure out something... Something to do. Uh, let's see. What, what was I needing? Uh, oh yeah, the, uh... Uh, noise, no, not noise, what was it, um, muffler, yeah, there it is. And so, instead of, I think it works in a 9x9 nine nine area, or 7x7, seven seven, so it should be pretty well, I put it in here, it shouldn't affect any of the other blocks out here. Ah, uh, but it does, eh, it's okay, it's okay, I can live with this, I can live with this. I'm going to put a torch there. Clean this room out just a little bit. I mean, it's already made. Might as well, right? And we'll start putting chickens in here. Uh, F7. Ooh, we're, we're getting dark over here. There we go. That should work. Uh, I'll flush these walls out a little, little later. Uh, do we have a torch in here? Yes, we do. So, it should be like this. Yeah. Oh wow, it's a little bit larger. The the muffler is a little bit larger than a seven by seven area or a nine by nine area. It goes it might be it might be an entire chunk. Might be an entire chunk. So let's get this out of here. There we go. It didn't take that long. There we go. So now we've got one, two, three. One, one, two, and we need to knock out this wall. Make it a, a proper seven by seven interior. That way we're not really worried. I'm not, I don't know. Odd, being odd is, is even to me. So just, it's, it's just something. Yeah, there we go. So now we can put chickens on this wall. So to start with the chickens, start with the chickens. We need something called a chicken catcher. This little doodad right here from Roost. Do we have the ability to do that? We do. Where did we get eggs from? Where do we get eggs from? Probably from the sat from the the common loot bags. All right. So yeah, there we go. We'll grab our grab that. Put all this stuff away. Uh, there are a couple of chickens in the Nether. Uh, I I would like to go grab. If I have the ability to do so, uh, we can get soul sand chickens. So that way we can have a, a constant production of soul sand. We can get nether quartz chickens, which will give us a constant production of nether quartz. Oh, that's... Yeah, let's not do that. So we can hop into the nether. The chickens usually are around this area, unless I've, like, completely uh, killed them off. I shouldn't have, though. I shouldn't have. There should be some around here somewhere. Now watch. Now watch. Usually the way this works is like you start you start needing something. You're like, oh yeah, I see them all the time. And now we're going to be like, oh my goodness, where are you chickens? Hopefully there's some around here. Chickens. There you are. Hello. So do I right click on you? I do. And it becomes an item. Ha <laughs> ha. That's awesome. I've never dealt with roost before. I've just know it, uh, how it works in theory. So we've got ourselves another quartz chicken and a soul sand chicken, which is awesome. I uh, probably would not. I probably would like another couple at least. I mean, while I'm here, might as well mine that stuff up. Is this prosperity ore? Yeah. Give me that good stuff. Uh, hello, chicken. Whoop. Gotcha. Uh, is there another one? Oh, where or where is my chickens be? Where or where can you be? 
Well, that's a big creeper guy over there. That's not technically a creeper. That's just it, probably a, a in, uh, was a pigman. Probably a pigman in disguise. Oh, hello, giant spider. You can go away, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. And your babies. Those heat coil spider, or heat scar spiders are crazy strong. Ooh, we got cat in a hat. Nice. All right, come on. We need one more chicken. You want at least two of each to start off with uh, because you can breed them uh, to become better. So I will have to find another one. Another one. Uh, just finding all this nice ore. Why do I have to find the nice ore? All right, let's see if I can't find another chicken, and I'll be right back. I found you. Thank you. Literally two seconds after I said be right back, I found one. Isn't that usually how it works? Anyway, we're going back home. We've got two of each. We've got two soul sand, two nether quartz. Now, they, they may not be the chickens that we necessarily needed, but but it does give us a good start on, on chicken production uh, and potentially starting to, to breed them together. So, and they just make them better. Um, I did, I did watch a video on that about, uh, getting the, the chickens up to, I think it's 10, 10, 10, which is the, the best they can be. Uh, and they produce, like, they produce super, super fast. So super, super fast. So I think what we need is, uh, let's do at roost, I think it is. Yes. We're gonna need a couple of roost. We're gonna. I'm probably just gonna teach the system how to do these because we're gonna need them in the future. So we're gonna need that. We're gonna teach the system. Whoop! I gotta teach the system how to make that. And that is it. wheat. We're producing wheat in our farm right behind me. Uh, we're gonna need a chicken breeder. Let's do that. And a chicken collector. So it just needs a standard chicken, and a chest and a, and a hopper do that do we have enough room for this yes okay so can you give me some roosts please i need two at least and i would like a chicken collector if you would oh, i need to i need to breed them um i need the chicken breeder please breed there we go chicken breeder There we go. Uh, I think we need some seeds, which we've got a lot of seeds. Uh, and let's go put them in, our, in their new home. So let's grab the breeder first. Actually, I probably need to clean out some of my inventory here. Uh, nether quartz. Yeah, there we go. So I, if I'm not mistaken, the once we get the roost thing, in the, we'll put it in like here in the middle, which would allow, which would collect from all the chickens around. But I want, let's see. Let's just put the the breeder there and what we could do is we could put the two chickens in here and start breeding them up now it takes a little while uh so you know this is the part where we may need to make another breeder or just complete completely be patient which in my circumstance start this back up oh, i need to fix that uh in my in my situation i may just want to grab another breeder because it's probably just the easiest thing to do. Um, and we may look into getting like, I don't know if the Wand of Acceleration's in this pack. But uh, we could probably Wand of Acceleration them. I don't even know if it works. Uh, so I, I guess it would be a perfect opportunity to test it out. Let's grab some more seeds. And we will just have these things breeding. As far as, as long as they will. As long as they will. So there we go. So, yep, yeah, we're just getting started on the chickens. We're going to need, we're going to need to get some more uh, to start like with redstone and things. Let's take a quick look how we or get a redstone chicken. Redstone chicken. So in order to get a redstone chicken, uh, redstone chicken, we need a redstone chicken and a, is that correct? Redstone crystal. No, we need just a st standard redstone chicken, please. There we go. Redstone chicken. 
So we need a red chicken and a sand chicken. To get a red chicken, we apparently get from an egg. Uh, and to get a red chicken, we need to get an egg around some rose red. So... Um... It would be at Batania, because we're we're using Yeah, it'd be these tall mystical red flowers that we're doing here. And we'll have to, to ground them up. But we will look in more in depth with these chickens in the future. We'll also try to get ourselves a wand of acceleration. Or I could probably make one really, really quickly if it's not too expensive. Um because the wand, if it even is in this pack. Because I noticed we did get a lot of wands. Illuminating wand, displacement wand. There it is. Wand of acceleration. Usage in a machine in a machine has been disabled. Ah, that's no problem because we'll use it by hand. We just need a little bit of mo bone meal and advanced wand cores. So we need nether stars. So we at least need to kill the wither uh, to, to get that. So that doesn't look too bad. So we may have to wait for that. So... That's, that's perfectly understandable. That's perfectly fine. So, at least we are on our way, and I'll just have to wait till these chickens, you know, do their thing, breed up faster, um, and make better babies, because the more they, the more potent they get, the faster they breed. Anyway, thank everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do remember to get a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or any tips, tricks, or anything that you would like me to build in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, see you later.